Hey there, Scorpio. My name is Trudy. I'm report to Gypsy Angel Medium. I had to flip the camera this way because I'm doing your reading on the go, like I was saying. If you saw the short, you saw the short, and this is the full reading. Okay, so from the top, we're going to take it from the beginning, from the top. You got the most dominant energy for your month of April here. By the way, this is for... Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, any other placements you may be looking for, cross watchers are welcome. Please like, subscribe, comment, share, all that great stuff. I love you so much. Anyways, but um, also if you want a private exchange of energies with me, click on the description box below and follow the instructions. This is talking about you having a really fun, sunny time where like it's hot it's fun it's summery there's lots of people there's children if there isn't children that could be an indication of fertility sexuality it's definitely like a root chakra opening month so there's a lot going on here and this is you diving deep into those deep waters <laughs> anyway i shouldn't have put that at the bottom of the deck let's go to the bottom of the deck energy this is the lesson you're standing on for the month of april and it's the nine of winter okay so things are incredibly stagnant and still and stale and You're at a standstill, but it's for a reason, Scorpio. There's a reason that things have paused a bit because it's time for you to observe. And maybe somebody or maybe a lot of you feel like you're on the outside looking in. And that's okay for right now because there's something that you need to observe from this situation. But continuing from the top, the top, we have fortitude the number is eight fortitude is another version of strength so this is the fairy tarot and this fairy plays with the bees as you see and the bees are nearly her size so she is strong because she's able to deal with the whole beehive and they love her and she shows restraint because you can't demonstrate to the bees that you're scared of them, they'll smell that on you. You know what I mean? So there's like, not about your fear necessarily, but about the restraint part, okay? The restraint. Somebody needs to hear this, and maybe all of the Scorpio need to hear this, but there's something to do with restraining yourself. Maybe the words that you say, maybe the actions that you take. I don't know how this unfolds. It's different for everybody, all right? Um, and then here we have the Herald of Autumn. And this is about time and money. You're learning how to prioritize them both. You're learning how to prioritize them both and utilize them both to your best advantage. So I hope so much that you enjoyed your reading. I love you. Love me back. Love yourself. Love everybody around you. Mwah.